Kate has to age from 36 to late 60s, and um, it's a progressive amount of aging that she goes through. And so, of course, when you get to the later years, um, it means that Kate herself has to sit in a chair for many, many hours um, before nice she can get to uh, nice the point where she can be filmed. See, look. Yeah. They've already made me look 55. <laughs> We've just completed six hours of hair and makeup. <laughs> and it is five o'clock in the morning. It's five o'clock in the morning and we've all had about four and a half hours sleep. <laughs> There's about six of us in this team. And from the very beginning, from the first conceptual conversation to the final yeah, tests, We've all worked together, and we just all do our little bit, um, which means that everyone does what they're best at, and uh, it's sort of completely teamwork. Well, this is the beginning stage, which, um, to be honest with you, makes me look really quite um, alien-like. I don't, uh, I don't really resemble a human being until for a while the hair goes on and the and the eyebrows go on. They, they even take my eyebrows away. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say my hand is her, her face that's been sculpted on. You've got a mould. This thing here, these two layers uh, of cat plastic sprayed on the inside of the mould, yeah. um, either side. You close the mould up, you bolt it really tightly up, and then you inject under as much pressure as you can possibly do this um, silicon, so it's, it's really quite liquid. Um, and then it's, it goes to a semi-liquid, so a bit like a jelly um, inside. And then when you take it out, you've got, you've got a skin that will actually compress a bit and move with the, the actor's skin. There comes the bald lady. Because this is important to me, important. and whatever you cut out of this, this has this bit has to go in. This chair <laughs> that I'm sitting in, comfortable as it is, makes me feel a little bit like Thora Heard. <laughs> God bless you, Thora. Um, it was not requested by me, okay? So this movie star chair that you see with the lovely Terry Towling is her fault. It is. Okay. And I keep being concerned. Whenever we have extras come in or day players come in, I keep thinking, oh, my God, <coughs> you have to tell them that, uh, that you are responsible for this chair. Otherwise, they're going to walk away going, God, that, that Kate Winslet. <laughs> She's got this special chair with remote controls and everything. <laughs> Having said that, I do quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> but only because Kate has to be here for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then... It does all kinds of things. Uh, <laughs> very important for our process. Where's me popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the bit where Matt wipes any residue moisturiser off my skin. And even though we have tried to get him not to do a version of the Clearasil ad, where he looks at the grime he wipes away, you can't help yourself, can you, Matt? No, I can't. <laughs> so then he looks. <laughs> looks at the grime <laughs> and makes me feel like a spotty teenage boy. <laughs> See? He's doing it again. <laughs> it's so good for the self-esteem, this part. I'll just tell you now. <laughs> so good for the ego. Thanks. Oh. See, the thing about acting... <laughs> Like what's what are you doing here, Matt? We're just um, offering the neck up before we put any glue on, just get in the right position, basically. And for it to be comfortable for Kate and... That's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> we just throw it on them. Because the material is so uh, brilliant and sort of skin-like and, and flexible, you know, we have to get it to sit perfectly over these bones here and the you know the dent here and make sure that the wrinkly part of the neck sits at the point that it would the skin this this so cat plastic is so fragile they're a nightmare to prep it's heartbreaking because you know you can spray it up do the whole thing inject it and maybe a bit's missed or you've got an air bubble 
And that's it, two days down the pan, start up again. I think Rick Baker was saying they were getting maybe one in ten pieces out the mould. But when you get it out, when it works, it's fantastic. <laughs> These are the edges that Matt bleeds onto the skin to disappear. This is silicon. I took some pictures home last night and I showed them to my daughter. It was about nine o'clock and she'd waited up for me. Did she? Yeah, and I showed her the picture and I said, who's that? And she said, well, it looks like Granny Plum, but it can't be Granny Plum because she died last year. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. That's so sweet. You <laughs> see this? <laughs> it's come to this. Look how, look at that. Well done. <laughs> Looks brilliant. <laughs> when you see Kate's ears through the hair, it just adds a bit of, just helps with the whole aging process, really. It just knocks off the youthfulness. So the fact that I've got three, three piercings in this one yeah, lobe this, uh, <laughs> wouldn't look good. So there's Kate's face. These are different, they're the upper eyelids, but it was sculpted on effects, moulded, and then injected in these holes, that's the gelatin there. Yeah. The thing that is so weird about, the, about this, though, is that, to me, this doesn't look like me, even though I know that it is, because it was a whole mo it, but to me, it looks like my sister. It's very weird, it looks like my sister Beth. All my really bad open pores. You can see all the things. It's really freaked me out. I said to Stephen yesterday, before we did a take, I said, okay, I said, I haven't got everything, you know, I, I haven't got the various things that we still haven't put in yet, so tits, teeth, lenses, and we'll go. <laughs> and I realised, and I realised that actually that really sums up the whole the character, character at this, at this moment in time. Guess what? What? Now what on earth could that be? It's going to be your nose. Yeah, that's my... <laughs> the boobs and the belly and various fatty bits around the back of the hips and things. When I sit down, everything mm. moves the way that a body would move. And because there is a weight to it... I have to say this quietly, otherwise Pauline will get concerned. <laughs> Because the boobs weigh a ton, I get backache. <gasps> <laughs> these are um, this stage um, eye bags, so these are older. With you see that? Yeah. So that's Kate's left eye bag with like the little kind of crow's feet laughter lines, but they're quite dinky. From the life caster Kate, they were sculpted, bearing in mind the movement when she wrinkles her eyes. But the gelatin's nice because once it gets warmer during the day, they kind of soften up and move nicer. I didn't write anything about you. From the life caster Kate, they were sculpted and then moulded and then injected with gelatin, open the mould and then powdered so they don't stick to themselves. I didn't look at what I was writing there, so I have no control over it. <laughs> Actually, yesterday, there was somebody on set who I'd never seen before, mm -hmm. and he was quite a cute and lovely boy. Yeah. And so I'm, so I'm sort of going, oh, hi, like this, and then, I, and then I looked at my, and I looked in the mirror to check my eye, and I went, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, that was so tragic of me. I just basically gave like a nice little twinkly smile to somebody, you know, thinking that I just looked like normal, normal you know, friendly Kate, you know. Mm. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> this boy, we had absolutely no idea who I was, so he just, he must have just thought, why is that granny smiling, smiling at, me? at me in a slightly sideways, <laughs> slightly flirty manner? God, but that also make, that our really granny, does make me try to you know, there's some grannies that uh, could have a little bit of lipstick or powder. Our granny has no help. I'm begging for lip gloss. Nothing. <laughs> this is the fun bit, the painting. What, you like this bit more? Oh, yeah, I like this bit. Yeah. Something to do with the fact that he's really good at it. When it all comes to life, this bit. Mm -hmm. 
yesterday, David Cross, who's playing young Michael. Oh I my. forgot that he hadn't seen it. And I walked towards him and he actually went, he went. No. He did? I said, how do I look? He said, you just look absolutely awful. <laughs> he said, that's terrible, that's terrible, he kept saying. Mm -hmm. He just couldn't believe that it wasn't my skin, you know, he just couldn't believe Fly. it. Fine. Explain how you handed the responsibility over to me because everyone else is too scared of it. Too wussy. <laughs> And it's interesting because a lot of people have said to me, oh, that must be so weird, you know, like to see yourself like old and ill. <laughs> and I, I, I just love it because I've never done this before. I've never had prosthetics of any kind, of any kind at all, not even an injury prosthetic, nothing. Mm. And, um, and I've never worn contact lenses before. And so, so to me, it's just this sort of great part of my job that I haven't had a chance to do until now. And so I do actually really, really like it. The whole process was so painstaking, but so fascinating and so wonderful to look in the mirror and see myself as an older woman. But also, all my muscles could completely move. They all came through in the makeup. Uh, they didn't seem to cover anything up of my own um, bone structure or anything like that. Um, they just simply aged it.